Hey everyone, I'm Mohammed Hamama and welcome back to your ASCP preparation camp. Today, we're continuing our liver enzyme series, crucial for understanding hepatic function and disease. We'll quickly recap ALT and AST, then dive into glutamate dehydrogenase, alkaline phosphatase, 5-nucleotidase, gamma-glutamyl transferase, and glutathione S-transferase. These enzymes are key diagnostic markers you'll need to know for the exam. Ready to boost your ASCP knowledge? Let's jump in. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update in your exam prep journey. Also, check out our store, it helps us keep creating great content for you. Alanine aminotransferase, ALT. Also known as, L-alanine, 2-oxyglutarate aminotransferase. Enzyme that transfers amino groups from alanine to 2-oxo acids. Favors alanine production. Exclusively cytoplasmic. Primary locations, liver and kidney. Lesser amounts in heart and skeletal muscle. It has a clinical significance in liver disease, chronic hepatitis, NAFLD, and cirrhosis. The second one is aspartate aminotransferase, AST. Also known as, L-aspartate 2, oxyglutarate aminotransferase. Enzyme that transfers amino groups from aspartate to 2-oxo acids. Favors aspartate formation. Both mitochondrial and cytoplasmic. Primary locations, heart, liver, skeletal muscle, and kidney. Has clinical significance in liver disease, alcoholic hepatitis, hepatic cirrhosis, and liver neoplasia, and liver carcinoma. If you want more detailed discussion you may want to check the previous video the link in the description. The third liver enzyme is glutamate dehydrogenase GLDH. Enzyme function. Found in prokaryotes and eukaryotic mitochondria. It catalyzes the reversible conversion of glutamate to alpha-ketoglutarate and ammonia. In eukaryotes favors production of ammonia and alpha-ketoglutarate. In brain mitochondria oxidative deamination occurs. Clinical significance. GLDH levels in blood serum indicate liver damage. It plays a role in the differential diagnosis of liver disease, especially when combined with aminotransferases. GLDH is localized in mitochondria, so it is released from necrotic cells during liver damage. Liver distribution. More concentrated in central areas of liver lobules. Distribution pattern opposite to ALT, alanine aminotransferase. Measurement methods. Continuous monitoring methods determine GLDH activity using both forward and reverse reactions. The reaction favors glutamate formation, and higher rates occur when 2-oxyglutarate is the substrate. Serum is added to a solution containing NADH, an ammonium salt, and ADP at pH 7.5. The reaction is initiated by adding 2-oxyglutarate, and the decrease in absorbance at 340 nanometers is measured. Stability and reference intervals. GLDH activity in serum remains stable at 4 degrees Celsius for 48 hours and at minus 20 degrees Celsius for several weeks. Reference intervals are 6 units per liter, women, and 8 units per liter, men, when optimized at 37 degrees Celsius. Now we have alkaline phosphatase ALP. Enzyme function. Catalyzes the alkaline hydrolysis of various substrates. It is present in most organs, especially associated with cell surfaces in the small intestine, kidney tubules, bone, osteoblasts, liver, and placenta. ALP is anchored to cell membranes by glycosylphosphatidylinositol, ectoenzyme. Its exact metabolic function is not fully understood, but it's linked to lipid transport in the intestine and bone calcification. Multiple forms. ALP exists in multiple forms with molecular weights ranging from 70 to 120 kata. Bone, liver, and kidney ALP forms share a common primary structure but differ in carbohydrate content. Some divalent ions, magnesium ions, cobaltus ion, manganese ion, activate ALP, and zinc ion is a constituent metal ion. 
Clinical Significance Increased serum ALP activity originates from liver and bone. Useful for investigating hepatobiliary disease and bone conditions with increased osteoblastic activity. Extrahepatic obstruction, e.g., pancreatic cancer, leads to notable ALP increases. ALP elevation predicts outcomes in primary biliary cirrhosis. Infectious hepatitis typically shows moderately increased or normal ALP levels. Pregnancy and benign increases. Intestinal ALP isoenzyme increases in liver cirrhosis. Pregnancy-related ALP elevation due to placental origin. Benign familial increases in infants and children, reflecting transient enzyme glycosylation changes. Age and gender variation. Infants and peripubertal children exhibit higher ALP activity, up to threefold, due to bone ALP leakage during growth. ALP levels in growing children vary significantly. The decline to typical adult ranges differs between individuals, occurring about two years earlier in females than males. Reference intervals in adults. Using an IFCC traceable method, reference intervals, central 95th percentiles, are established. Premenopausal women, 18 to 49 years 33 to 98 units per liter. Men, greater than or equal to 20 years 43 to 115 units per liter. Postmenopausal changes. After menopause, women may experience a progressive increase in both lower and upper reference limits. The fifth enzyme is 5-nucleotidase. Enzyme function. 5-nucleotidase, NTP, is a phosphatase that acts specifically on nucleoside 5-phosphates. It hydrolyzes compounds like adenosine 5-phosphate, AMP, and adenylic acid, releasing inorganic phosphate. Widely distributed in body tissues, it's primarily localized in cell membranes, ecto-5-nucleotidase. Clinical Significance Serum NTP activity reflects hepatobiliary disease with specificity. Increased NTP, 3 to 6 fold, occurs in conditions interfering with bile secretion, extrahepatic or intrahepatic. In infectious hepatitis, NTP activity moderately increases. NTP measurement complements total ALP for diagnosing hepatobiliary disease. Dissociation between liver ALP and NTP supports dual testing for better diagnostic efficiency. Methods for measurement Common substrates for NTP measurement are AMP and IMP, inosine 5-phosphate. However, these substrates can be hydrolyzed by nonspecific phosphatases. Commercial assays correct for this by monitoring the hydrolysis of IMP to inosine, then hyposanthine, and finally urate. ALP's effect on IMP is inhibited by beta-glycerophosphate. Sample stability and analytical specifications. NTP activity in serum or plasma heparin remains stable for at least 4 days at 4 degrees Celsius and 4 months at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Reference interval. At 37 degrees Celsius, the reference interval for NTP activity is 3 to 9 units per liter, with no sex-related differences. Next enzyme will be gamma glutamyl transferase. Enzyme function. GGT catalyzes the transfer of the gamma glutamyl group from peptides and compounds to an acceptor. The acceptor can be the substrate itself, an amino acid, a peptide, or even water, resulting in simple hydrolysis. GGT acts specifically on peptides containing a terminal glutamate residue linked through the terminal, gamma, carboxyl. Distribution and localization. GGT is present in decreasing order of abundance in the proximal renal tubule, liver, pancreas, and intestine. It exists in cytoplasm, microsomes, but a larger fraction is located in the cell membrane. GGT may transport amino acids and peptides into cells as gamma glutamyl peptides. Role in glutathione maintenance. GGT is critical for maintaining intracellular concentrations of reduced glutathione, a major antioxidant. Serum activity and liver origin. Serum GGT activity primarily comes from the liver. 
It is predominantly found in the biliary pole of hepatocytes. GGT also exists in the cytosol and smooth endoplasmic reticulum, susceptible to induction. Heterogeneity and forms. Serum GGT is heterogeneous in terms of net molecular charge and size. Forms likely result from post-translational modifications rather than true isoenzymes. High molecular weight forms may originate from cell membrane fragments. Clinical significance. Sensitive for hepatobiliary disease, but limited specificity. Elevated in biliary obstruction, 5 to 30 times URL. High increases, liver neoplasms and space-occupying lesions. Moderate increases, infectious hepatitis, NAFLD, drug intoxication. Also elevated in, pancreatitis, pancreatic malignancies, alcoholic hepatitis. Associated factors. Linked to, body weight, obesity, alcohol consumption. Increased by, anticonvulsant drugs, as, phenytoin, phenobarbital. Unlike ALP, doesn't increase with osteoblastic activity. Prognostic value. Independently predicts cardiovascular morbidity and mortality. Active GGT found in atherosclerotic plaques. Meta-analysis, increased cardiovascular risk with higher GGT levels. Reference intervals, IFCC traceable. Females, URL 40 units per liter. Males, URL 70 units per liter. African ancestry, approximately twofold higher limits. Neonatal GGT activity. At birth, 6 to 7 times adult reference interval. Reaches adult levels by 5 to 7 months of age. Lastly we have glutathione S-transferase. Enzyme function. GSTs are dimeric enzymes that add glutathione to electrophilic centers in various chemical structures, aiding in detoxification. They also contribute to glutathione peroxidase activity and intracellular binding and transport of endogenous and exogenous compounds. Human GSTs are divided into four main classes, alpha, mu, pi, and theta. Alpha GST is highly concentrated in the liver and is rapidly released from damaged hepatocytes into the bloodstream. Clinical significance. Detects all types of hepatocyte injury. Liver transplant monitoring. More valuable than AST for early rejection detection. Less affected by infection. Measurement. Challenges. Low normal plasma activity. Binding to anions as bile salts, bilirubin, inhibits enzyme activity. Solution, immunoassays for precise alpha-GST concentration measurement. Reference interval. Upper reference limit, URL, for alpha-GST, 11.4 micrograms per liter. If you found this video informative, please like, share, and subscribe. Any questions or comments? Leave them below. Be sure to grab your free copy of the ASCP short notes, check the description for the link. You can also support us by purchasing products from our store, this helps us continue creating valuable content. Stay tuned for our next video.